Yeah, I was telling you before we started that my wife is a big hot sauce aficionado, um, <laughs> and she's insisting that I bring some of this stuff home. But well, we do have one more hot sauce, mm. and um, we're not going to try oh, it tonight. Okay. It is called Oh Gosh, he is just coming back. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it is called. Let's see if I can find it here. Wolf Riot. Um, and this is our hottest hot sauce. It was made by Derek of. <laughs> Can't remember anything. Whoa. No, I know. Okay. Consult the made, notes. <laughs> it was made by Derek of Glacier's End. And this one should be hotter than the one we just ate. Mm, how's that possible? <laughs> Um, a wolf riot is actually the last burst of like heat and flame and energy from a dying massive star. Mm. So that's what he named the hot sauce after. Okay. Um, we have to get to 200 donations to get to this one. Um, so we didn't quite get there, but. Yeah. I tell you what, I'm going to make you a deal. And this is a deal that comes at my own peril. <laughs> but I would be willing to lower that threshold to 150. Oh. Donors, so okay. we only need like what 50 more. We got over 100, didn't we? Yeah, so um, Please donate right now donate tonight. It's giving Tuesday still if you're watching this video tomorrow or the next day Feel free to donate then but as soon as we uh, Cross this threshold of 150. I will we will release the video of me Eating this, I don't know why we're doing this, but it's because the stewardship lines are so great. As soon as we it's cross that for threshold, the food producers that's will. right, that's right. So, um, yeah, so we'll leave the donations open until Friday at 5 p.m. Okay. If you want to make a donation, we'll do a special episode. You can watch Will and I eat the Wolf Riot hot sauce. <laughs> Um, and just a uh, last thank you to everyone who supported and donated tonight. Um, if you, the donations will be going directly to supporting uh, the new creation of a new cottage food guide. So the la uh, over the last couple years, over 3,000 people have donated our previous guide and it has helped launch many small businesses across the state. We're hoping that the new guide will, that in, you know, that's coming out with the new regulations will help launch even more. So your funds directly support that and help launch small businesses and help continue our work to um, bring farmers and eaters together to solve problems in the food system. And let me just say before we wrap up here that um, we take on a lot of tricky issues in the legislature. Um, and sometimes there are sort of uh, entrenched interests or entrenched people who just don't want to change the way things have been done, right? And in order to do that, um, often it really takes a movement, you know, of people coming together uh, and demanding change. Um, and I know that sounds like um, maybe like kind of starry-eyed or uh, overly optimistic or something, but it's true. It's really how this stuff gets done is that um, until policymakers really feel the pressure of their constituents of people all over the state demanding something to happen, um, it's really hard to make change happen. So, you know, we, I go to the Springfield and I pass legislation, but it's only really possible and the extent of change that is possible is created by the advocacy of folks in their home communities, organizations like you all who bring people together and demand that change and help sort of channel people's voices, right? Because sometimes people really want to advocate for change but don't know how to do it or where to go or whom to talk to. So organizations like the Stewardship Alliance are these incredible conduits for all the folks who produce all this stuff and all the other farmers and food producers and, and eaters, right? Who want to have these great products available. Um, so you guys have been amazing partners. I want to thank you so much. And also thanks to all the advocates who have supported this work um, and who have demanded better because it's, it's you're lifting up your voices that has made this legislation possible and it's made all these incredible products possible so um yeah thank you all for everything you do i think that is a perfect way to end the evening so let's we'll toast here Cheers. and uh we'll see you guys <laughs> later